is up you guys welcome back to another one if you're new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck scv reviews on youtube and today we're in the brand new 2025 bmw x1 courtesy of bmw of york in york pa for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below so today we're in this one because there are a couple nice upgrades from the 2024 model year to the 2025 model year that we're in today you do get better visibility than the x2 of course as well and in case you're curious the uh, x1 is going to be competing with the volvo xc40 mercedes-benz glb and like i said the bmw x2 to go along with all that so ultimately in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering feel ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so as you can imagine there are a couple different configurations for the 2025 x1 you got the x drive 28i which is the one we were in today starting at forty thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars in case you're curious that's a 450 dollar bump from the 2024 model year then you have the m35i which was new for last year starting at fifty thousand three hundred and fifty dollars so as you can imagine with those two configurations there are two different engine configurations to go along with them first one is going to power the 28i trim that we have today that one is powered by a two liter twin power turbocharged four cylinder putting out 241 horsepower 5700 rpm 295 pound feet of torque coming in at 2000 rpm that power being sent to all four wheels through a seven speed dual clutch with paddle shifters zero to 60 time coming in at approximately 6.2 seconds with mpg numbers coming in at 25 in the city 34 on the highway taking premium unleaded fuel so then there is that other configuration of course belonging to the m35i that one is actually powered by the same engine but tuned a little bit differently to put out 313 horsepower at 5700 rpm 295 pound feet of torque coming in at 2000 rpm power sent to all four wheels yet again this time through a seven speed dual clutch with paddle shifters zero to 60 time for this one 5.2 seconds with mpg numbers coming in at 23 in the city 31 on the highway taking premium unleaded fuel and so before we do any kind of fun acceleration or paddle shifter test here in the x1 I did want to mention to you guys the drive mode is labeled my modes it's located just behind the shifter there drive modes will include sport efficient and personal adjusting things like the shift points the throttle response and the steering sensitivity and so but now having got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find a straight away let's put the acceleration here to the test and let's see how quickly we can get our new 2025 bmw x1 here up to speed all right got her straight away here in three two one yo there it is that's not bad that's <laughs> not bad yeah so there was a little bit of turbo lag at the very beginning but this thing definitely gets up and goes so absolutely no issues whatsoever with merging onto the highway that was fine man like there's nothing wrong with the xdrive 28i whatsoever that's plenty of an acceleration in this thing i wouldn't have an issue with it but anyways if you did want more power there's the m35i but this thing is plenty fine so to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important so four-wheel ventilated disc brakes do come standard of course but did want to mention for the m35i there are m sport brakes with blue calipers so i did want to add to that but also when it comes to the 60 zero time that comes in at 115 feet which is plenty respectable as far as braking feel goes it's great i love it it's definitely on the firmer side of things instantly brings you to a stop so excellent braking feel on the xdrive 28i that we have with us here today so absolutely no issues there then touching on suspension and handling you will find an independent front and rear suspension of course coming standard gas pressurized shock absorbers front and rear stabilizer bars but if you were to go with the M35i or the M Sport package on the xDrive 28i, you will also get an adaptive damping suspension. So I love that. If you guys seen my videos before, you already know this, but essentially what that does is it monitors each shock absorber individually, not only adjusting to the rotor perfections, giving you a smoother ride, but it also tightens up that suspension during heavy cornering, giving you better handling as well. So it gives you the best of both worlds. So, so far on my short little test drive here today, wonderful ride quality here in the xDrive 28i that we have with us so absolutely no issues with that as far as steering feel goes the best part is you can adjust that dependent upon the drive mode that you put it in so if i put it in sport driving mode it did just downshift a little bit so 
Also a much weightier steering feel as well. So it instantly points you in the direction that you want to go. So I do love that. I'm gonna put it back at personal there though. But as far as cabin noise goes, we're going 13 miles per hour. So probably not the best time to test it, but it has been a perfectly serene cabin in my short little test drive here today, as expected from a luxury brand like BMW, of course. And touching our rear visibility, I can see 100% perfectly fine out the back. And like I said, that's the first thing I mentioned when I started this video, I've driven the X2 before because of the shape of the back end of that, this X1 is gonna have 100% better visibility than the X2. So keep that in mind, although the X2 styling is nice, I will say that this is gonna offer the better visibility. Rain Cincy windshield wipers though, they do come standard on the xDrive 28i and the M35i. So whenever this thing detects any kind of mist or rainfall, it's gonna automatically turn on the windshield wipers for you. So that's gonna assist with forward visibility. And on top of that, there is a head up display available with the premium package that goes for $4,100 by the way, but that's gonna project your speed, speed limit and safety features up onto your windshield. Yet again, assisting with forward visibility. But that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2025 BMW X1. All right, so here she is, you guys. The new 2025 BMW X1 finished in Cape York Green Metallic. Kind of interesting color name. I actually kind of like the color name, but color is okay. It kind of looks like the clouds today. But anyways, let's go ahead and start with where this one is made. Taking a look at the VIN. First character is the letter W, indicating that the X1 is built and assembled in Germany, of course. Starting up front, you do have that BMW active kidney front grille, meaning the grille shutters are going to open and close, dependent upon the engine cooling that is needed at any given time. To the sides, LED headlights with LED daytime running lights. You get the automatic feature with them. You also get automatic high beams. So if you have your high beams on at night and it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction, it's going to automatically dim them back to low beams. Then when that vehicle is gone, it's going to automatically bounce it back up the high beams for you there. So I love that feature personally. Then to the bottom corners, you do have some front air curtains helping direct air around the wheel and tire combination, of course. Then if you were to go with the M35i or the M Sport package, both of those we don't have with us here today, of course, you will find a more aggressive front fascia with a lot more body colored accents, whereas we kind of have this aluminum silver accents since we don't have um, that particular package. So wanted to mention that. I personally like the look of the front end. I think it looks dang good. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, but that pretty much rounds out the front end. Let's now go ahead and swing around to the side. All right, so now since we are around to the side of the x1 roof rails do come standard all the way to the top up there finished in that aluminum finish or satin chrome whatever you want to call it gloss black or satin chrome window surrounds will be available we got the satin chrome yet again rear privacy glass of course coming standard you're going to find more of those satin chrome side skirts for the x drive 28i body colored side skirts though for the M Sport package and the M35i. So I wanted to let you guys know that to go along with all that, all of these uh, gloss black accents with the fender surrounds and the side skirts as well, that's gonna be body colored with those two particular configurations. Then take a look at the side mirrors. They are body colored power adjustable side mirrors. They will be heated with LED integrated turn signals and they are actually power folding that comes standard as well. So that's pretty cool. But so then taking a look at the wheel setup, 18 inch alloys do come standard on this one. However, there are 18 inch, 19 inch, and 20 inch designs available so plenty of different looks for the x1 if you really wanted to make it your own but that pretty much rounds out the side profile let's now go ahead and make our way to the back all right so but now since we are around to the back of the x1 all the way to the top you have a little shark fin antenna i guess you could call it just below that rear spoiler with an integrated brake light just below that rear window wiper led tail lights do come standard on the x1 for added illumination at night you're going to find a rear diffuser for the m35i and the m sport package you will not find a rear diffuser fuser with the configuration that we have with us here today. There are dual exhaust outlets. They are tucked away for the xDrive 28i, but for the M35i, you're going to find quad chrome tips. That's a pretty cool look if you ask me, but nonetheless, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next here. As always, here is that exhaust clip. <laughs> Right, so now since we are around to the back of the X1, when it comes to opening that rear tailgate, it is a power tailgate that does come standard. So you gotta love that. There is a button on the key fob to go ahead and open that up. There is a rubberized button on the tailgate itself then as well. But 
Once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 25.7 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, of course, the rear seats do fold down, bumping that up to 46.9 cubic feet then. You're going to find some LED cargo lighting back there. There's so many grocery bag hooks, so more grocery bag hooks, I think, than I've ever seen on an SUV, actually. 12-volt power outlet back there. you got a little bit of netted storage there in the corner. And if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor, you are going to find a spare tire, which you guys know I always prefer. But that making our way up to the rear legroom that comes in at 37 inches even for reference i mean even six feet tall this is how much space i had in the back seats there rear center armrest with cup holders does come standard i like that rear ventilation and you do have dual rear usb charging ports coming back there then as well but then make your way up to the front seats power adjustable front seats coming standard perforated leather coming standard believe it or not as well you get in more enhanced side bolsters with the m35i and the m sport package whereas we don't have them with us here today. So I wanted to kind of emphasize that. Heated seats are now newly standard for 2025. That's probably the main change for the 2025 model year. There's a couple other smaller ones, but that's probably the big one. But overall, as far as seat comfort goes, it was perfectly fine in my short little test drive here today. So I didn't have any issues there. But now let's go ahead and take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It is going to be leather wrapped and it does come with the thickest 10 and 2 grips in existence right now. So I personally love it. It gives the driver a better feeling of being in control. At least that's my opinion. But then making our way to the startup, let me start by showing you guys the key here. You got your BMW logo on the one side. That is your lock button. The rest of your buttons are located on the side of the key. You got unlock and that button to pop the rear tailgate there. But it is all keyless entry with a push button start. So all I'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and press that silver engine start button located just in front of the shifter there. And so once start it up as far as the gauges go it is a 10 and a quarter inch digital gauge cluster that does come standard and these gauges are pretty darn good specifically if you go ahead and hit digital art that's always been my favorite one that makes the gauges look absolutely wild i love that but anyways if you go to my modes that's that's how i adjust the gauges there's actually a silent mode as well i just hit that and it's closing the moon roof so that's kind of fun um anyways that's that's the moon roof in the background there's relaxed, there's expressive, there's all kinds of different looks to these gauges. So they definitely look good. Expressive and digital art, I think are my favorite. They're just so wild, but plenty of customization. That's what I'm trying to get at here. Uh, you got your digital speed up there, of course, outside temperature, how many miles you have left until you hit empty. So plenty going on on that digital screen. So I'm a big fan of that. Now let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality. There is a panoramic moonroof that comes with the convenience package and it's newly available as a standalone option for 2025 as well. So minor change there, but multi-zone climate control does come standard multi-color ambient lighting coming standard as well. Let me actually go ahead and change that color so you guys can actually see it hopefully in this video. Wireless phone charger does come standard. It has this nice little rubber bar located um, just in front of it to hold your phone in place so I like that just behind that you have your dual cup holders just underneath of that a ton of storage there and believe it or not the center armrest it does open up for just a slight bit of extra storage not a ton because most of the storage is underneath of everything here but there's a little bit of storage in there too you also have a frameless rear view mirror I was a big fan of that and the door design is very different as well so you have this nice little grab handle it just protrudes out from the door so you can grab it so that's something different that i'm not used to seeing i love the aluminum speaker covers up top here and it has harman Kardon within that as well so we'll be testing out that sound system in a little bit but Overall, interior quality was really, really good. I definitely don't have any issues with that. I like it. So now let's go ahead and make our way to that infotainment screen because this has a lot as well. It is a 10.7 inch color touchscreen display. You get Bluetooth and audio streaming up there, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, a factory navigation system actually comes standard as well. So I like seeing that. Ambient lighting settings you can adjust up there as well. I just got done adjusting that. I turned it to purple to match these uh, crazy digital art gauges up there. So that's pretty nice. You can access your my modes up there if you wanted to there's tons of different lighting things you can adjust there's something called air console games that's pretty wild 
I'm not going to set that up right now, but that looks pretty stinking cool up there. I love seeing that. Um, of course, you got your radio information up there as well. So when it comes to the sound systems, there are two of them. Seven speaker hi-fi sound system comes standard, but then there is that Harman Kardon sound system, which is only a $600 option, believe it or not. So that's something that I would personally probably go for because typically upgraded sound systems go for the, you know, a couple thousand bucks or whatever. So $600 is pretty darn good. So having said that, let's go ahead and turn on the radio. Let's see what we got playing today. And let's test out the clarity of this one. <laughs> It was good. That was plenty fine. Plenty of bass there. Tons of clarity. So yeah, I definitely don't have any issues with that. And I love the aluminum speaker covers like I was saying. But last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on that infotainment screen at least is when you do put the X1 in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board. Panoramic view monitor is available as well. So that's pretty sticking cool. But as always, that is going to lead us into safety. And so to start, the X1 is an IIHS top safety pick plus, which is the very highest designation given by IIHS. So that pretty much says it all right there. Front side and side curtain airbags do come standard driver and passenger knee airbags up front as well. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA door anchors that tethers your children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard, active park distance control, frontal collision warning, blind spot detection, lane departure warning, speed limit info, and you actually get front and rear parking sensors coming standard as well. So that's pretty sick and cool. But overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here of the X1, excellent driving dynamics, plenty of acceleration, great braking feel, excellent steering feel in that sport driving mode, but it's kind of got something for everybody because you can loosen up that steering feel as well if you wanted to. Great gauges. There's so many different customizations to the gauges. So I was an absolutely huge fan of that. Honestly, I'm not sure what I would change on this one because everything is done pretty darn good. I'm not sure I would change anything, but let me know what you guys think of the X1 in the comment section below. That's about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe with the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know. I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.